right? <laughs> Put the night heart, on I'm a, a chicken, yeah. Right, yes, at heart, <laughs> we're all chicken. Uh, we, we, we want a solid, and he's played h4, and whoa! Okay. Now this is really Kalashnikov. This is... Uh, I'm starting to see some knight g3 ideas. Well, <laughs> well, wait a minute. I've got c5 as a possibility. I really like attacking this pawn on f7, and guess what? That knight g3 possibility, Wesley said, let me sidestep that. King g1, inviting bishop b6, by the way, uh, denying white the two bishops makes a lot of sense. I like it. I really like this move. Knight h5, king g1. Mm. I'm not sure about king g1. That's I'm, I'm, the, I'm the, feeling the, like Hikaru is taking over. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Yeah, yeah. it feels like a, a, f a few mistimed moves has given an early initiative, I want to say, to black. Right, I, I also quite like the move f6. f6. Just to jump in with the knight to f4. Okay. One question. Please. Can you get ultra aggressive uh -huh. and try to go for some d5 lines? What? d5 the? and set up the walking into the a battle. tempo yes okay so you want to say you would go for i would this. love for you to take with the deep arm yeah right. because now i'm not sure how you, you defend your king side mm -hmm. yeah queen h3 is uh certainly no joy i will uh f6 grant you that none of that <laughs> My f6 move. jovi but, we're gonna, but I think D5 I'm going to call up the... Chris Bird, the arbiter, and get you wanded and scanned. I, <laughs> I, I mean, it's fair commentary, you but know. But you know something? <laughs> Quite a few years ago, this was when Hikaru had his um, reputation of being an extremely attacking player. Yes. He's kind of toned that down since. There was like this chess personality web page. And, I, you know, I answered some questions, some chess questions, and it came, you are Hikaru Nakamura, the barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, B4, by the way, I, I would have probably played B4 without the move King G1 because I would not want to have faced Bishop C5, uh, B Bishop um, uh, B6, because I'd have C5. We do have knight f4 on the board. Bishop d4. Bishop and rook d4. F8. And a4. Rook a8 and a4. A4 is on the board. Okay. Uh, but do you also I, sense... I want to play a5 and a6. Let's go. Sorry, what, no, what am I sensing? I, what, I, what I'm sensing is that the queen doesn't have too many squares. So if I on could F5, somehow... Attack the queen. It open. But it's on a light square, so... You, the only thing you can really attack it with is the knight. He yes. played queen f7. Give me the pawn. Okay, is it time? See, bishop no. b3. It is not time. Bishop not to b3. I thought it was time to undouble the pawns with c5. And now Wesley is speeding up his play a little bit. Yeah, well, which he I has like. to. But how about queen h5 now? With the, the idea of h3 and invasion on the light squares. Clock times once again, six minutes to three minutes, something three minutes, 28 minutes. seconds. Queen h5 invasion on the light squares. Why not? It looks good. I think white has to go like rook d2 kind of ideas. To defense, to yes. To defend, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, if I'm in white shoes and I'm aspiring to play c5, I'm kind of happy that the queen goes away because at the moment the queen is pinning the pawn. Queen h5, rook d2 to defend the light squares. That makes sense. And perhaps ideas of uh, h3 still in the position after that. Let's take it one move by move. Can we, can we do that? Can sure. We do that? Queen h5, rook d2, h3, g3. Now I can get ultra aggressive and try to go queen f3. The problem is you're not even going to look at that knight. You're <laughs> going to go rook f1 or rook f2. Correct. Right. Just drive you right out of uh, dodge. And that's rook f1. Maybe not rook f1 because I have knight e2. Uh, sorry, not rook f1 because. Oh, but you have bishop d1. Ooh. Okay, yeah. so he has paid. Rook a8, e8. Sorry, let me just refresh my board. I apologize, everybody. It will only be a temporary 
And immediately, Wesley, Wesley had this A4, A5 conception from a long distance away. He's still looking at ideas of A6 as well as B5 and prying open the queen side. Now, you were saying that the queen doesn't have that many squares, so if we could get in C5 and rook E, E5, we'd be uh, all I think he's all going happy. for that. Oh, Ninth by the way, E6. now I see bishop E3 followed by queen F2. Remember when I was saying we could make this battery create a few weaknesses over on the king side? Pardon me, over on black. Ooh. And Hikaru playing knight Hikaru, uh, he did something wrong okay, there. Okay, but the rook is maybe coming to oh. E5. Bishop D4. Sorry, oh. it might be a, a, a repetition, knight E6. Are we going to see a repetition in this early middle game? I would be sorry. Excuse me, this was the position, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Could he have played c5? Knight takes d4. Rook take, bishop takes, sorry. Take on f5, you take on e8. Correct. I'm winning, an, I, I won an exchange. You did, yes. And my next turn is to take here as well. So uh, maybe Wesley, when he played the move, bishop e3, and Hikaru, Hikaru refuses I think the repetition. Hikaru realized that knight e6 walked into c5 and didn't give him a second opportunity to play it. a6, rook d2, king to a8. Talking a6, the king, yeah? rook to d2, king to a8. Now, any sort of battery along the diagonal with the queen in front is going to be met by bishop to b8. Bishop a2 sets c5, sets the stage for b5 as well. Great move. Queen e7, sidestepping uh, the discovery. Is it time? c5. And of course, once again, to remind everybody, we're going to be playing the colors reverse, regardless of the result, as uh, somebody gets a chance for revenge. Bishop b... Why is Wesley hesitating playing the move c5? Well, he doesn't want to open up any diagonals, especially with the clock situation, so why not just improve the position, maybe put the bishop on d1, come out, come out to g4, because wait, he had played bishop bide a, your time. Because he had played bishop a8 last turn. It okay. seems like he's lost a little bit of the thread, maybe both players realizing the position okay. doesn't allow for favorable opening of the position. Right. It's interesting how they're now putting their pieces on the protected squares. Right. Protect your pieces at all times. Defend Similar yourself at all times. Uh, I'm, I'm not a big fan of this rook on e1. I think I would put the rook on f1. He didn't. Okay, rook he put to his d1, rook back. bishop to b8. Neither player really Hang on a finding. It, is it possible to kind of try to crack open? B5. Line with B5. Finally, yeah, we it's have something. Finally, I, I I've wanted been that. I've been waiting for these uh, moves uh, for some time. Uh, B5, C5, break open the queen side for crying out loud. Maybe well timed. And by the way, time. Wesley is now up on time. Remarkable. You don't see that. Where a three minute advantage just dissipated. Uh, Hikaru. Down to his last two minutes and 40 seconds. Wow. Definitely not enjoying this situation on the board. Bishop b6, inviting a capture on c6. This bishop will find a life. And it's, I'm talking a beautiful it's life to look on good a4. For white Maybe guys. bishop b6. I quite like trading off the bishops and then after trading off the b, b takes c6 and then c5. But, but remember, all trades are you're at a market. Trade on your terms, uh, Jovi. Uh, take on c6 and play. And if you want to, if you want to capture, undouble the pawn. So he mm -hmm. played bishop a4. He didn't take on a6. He didn't take on c6. He's keeping the tension. Was that a good move? I, I like it. it. You like it. I, I mean, the rook has to defend the c6 point, or you have to consider a takes b5. Which would open up which, more lines. Which would come with a <laughs> massive warning. Right. Do not open. <laughs> the more I look at the position, the more I like it for Wesley. Well, he's got happy moves, doesn't he? Bishop takes d4, a double undoubling. C and takes we B5, did C takes C, C, C to takes. C8. Yeah. Uh oh, Black's king is really getting pried open now. Hikaru is looking for some counter chances on the C file. And, and here we go. Takes, takes. 
But C2 is covered, exactly. which means we can go rook to B1 to B6 like a... True barbarian. A true barbarian. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> By the way, uh, does G3 work at any point? Just to get my queen involved in the play. Well, he's paid rook B1 first, rook but B1 I agree with first. you. I'm thinking Christian. this bishop is coming to the long diagonal like a magnet. Ooh. But a big it feels like a com like no seriously guys it feels very it, it, very it feels comfortable it's crushing right now right rook b6 i mean you have everything you want as white and black doesn't have an attack he's had that knight on f4 for 20 moves hasn't done anything with it right the knight's not going to win the game alone and 1 minute 50 and Wesley? Two minutes and 30 seconds. Wesley could be striking here. Rook b6 and rook a6, that's a deadly threat. I, I told you guys, Wesley outplayed him, outplayed Hikaru in both the rapid matches in their first match. I, I agree with games. you both, but don't write off Hikaru. Not yet. No. He's one of the world's best defenders. <laughs> Truly. Never. And Never. he has played the move rook b6, inviting bishop c6 check, putting that bishop on that diagonal. Now I like your g3 very much in order to release the queen. And rook to b6. Rook b6. Wow, how he didn't play bishop c6 is a mystery to me. Because he could have put his rook on, he could have gone bishop c6 and rook b6 both. Yeah, it felt Ooh, like king to b8. rook b6, rook b6 a b6. Okay, well he does have a, Ideas, queen eight. Oh no, not nice. Don't allow ninety two. Is the trend reversing, guys? Because uh, you're gonna take my a six pawn, but well, maybe you're not even going to take my a six pawn. Queen well, b seven. Let's queen, defend. I, I just don't want to blunder my rook. So let's go queen b seven. Let's <laughs> defend. Queen. That's the well. Queen b seven and invites d five and bishop c six. Ooh, that's unpleasant. Well, Whoa, we're gonna he's see it, it. Yes, sir. D5 looks boss. He's perhaps looking at something, but D5 what? D5 and bishop c6 is just overwhelming. It, it, it looks great for, for white right now. How, come on. Are you going to sacrifice the exchange with rook to c8? But that must be losing. Absolutely, mm -hmm. because a6 will be hanging. Queen takes a6. So D5 and bishop c6 I think plays he missed, itself. He missed D5. D5, c6, put. Ooh, no. Why is he doesn't bishop d1? That's He's not the right solution. He missed it. He missed. That's hard to believe. D5 and bishop c6 was just overwhelming. So, exactly. Overwhelming at that point. No, By the not, way, not not that this is terrible. Mm, well, can I go rook e8 because... now? What? Rook e8? Bishop f3 is on g4. But, but, g4. Uh, I'm trying to get to your king as well. Okay, H3. H3 on the board. That, that's also an indication that you're trying to get to my king as well. H3 on the board. Well, I got to play G3. I don't want to see. Well, you can play bishop F3 if you want to make that transfer. But somehow or other, I mean, it feels like bishop F3 doesn't threaten anything because mm. of e, after E5, you got D5. No, I don't want you were prying open my king. I think I would have played G3. He played it. Uh, instantly. He played uh, it. Well, Hikaru, less than 45 seconds on the clock. Knight G2. Knight G2. G2. By the way, Where Bishop E2 was a, was a winning threat Where if the knight had just knight? dropped back. So Knight G2, rookie. Hikaru barely hanging on, but guess what? He hanging is hanging on. on. He is hanging on. King F2 in order to not bear the consequences of Rook C1. One minute and 30 seconds for Wesley, 45 seconds for Hikaru. King to f2, I'm worried about rook to c6. I'm coming to take that pawn. But I'm thinking, I can put my bishop, I, I've, I've been dreaming of putting my bishop on the long diagonal. So bishop back to b3, rook to c6, bishop to d5. Oh, if you start with bishop b3, then it looks good for you, I think, yes. Okay. Yeah, but is there any kind of naughty... Going on, on the rook c1 check. Let's try it out. Bishop b3, rook c1, king f2. King f2? Don't see it myself. It's so difficult. Bishop b3 is on the board, guys. Okay. That's, hey, that's this, Wesley. Is, this is Use the most time. consequent move. That's the money move right, right there for Wesley. And eyeballing that opportunity. See, the problem with rook c6, bishop to b3, queen takes b6, 
is you're opening up the B file against your own king. And you would go rook queen to a1, defending the pawn on d4, threatening exactly. rook to b2, and still 20 threatening. 20 seconds, and taking down for Hikaru, and he throws in a check, will he just move his rook to a, c6? Was that a spike check that he threw out there? It's and the clock, it. 10 seconds. Um, rook, b1. rook to b1. Okay, okay. Okay, so Hikaru first of all, there sort of is this chances. nasty move, queen a2. Wait, he should be but, five, queen takes b6? More directly, he played it. What? What? What is he doing? Trapping oh, the knight? Oh, he's trapping the knight. Holy smokes. That actually traps the knight. <laughs> <laughs> and did you see that? Hikaru he did caught, not spot that. And he, he's, But Wesley caught it immediately. I thought Wesley was playing for a mating attack. And that... Wait a minute. What, what was ah, f He wants to go knight, knight to f4. f4. Bishop h... Nobody believes you. Bishop... Because there's just, a pass pawn in the right, position. Just e5. Push the pawn. Get him going. E5. But why? Ah, why did he start with f5? Because he needed a bishop off the G8 square to g8 diagonal. Yes. Okay, knight to f4. But how easy is this? I do have that a pawn, which is very strong as well. Why didn't he play e5? I don't know. Knight to f4. You have to take and then take on g5. King no, f2. king to g2. Take on g5 or play f5? I don't know. Five. This is going to go down the wire, make guys. Them, no, make take, them take, take on g5. <laughs> Pawns together stronger. Yes. Yeah, we play f5. <laughs> yeah, and you've got an h pawn that you just put your rook behind. Rook to h2, h5, and just push. Mm. Oh. Some hesitation there. But because serious the problem hesitation. Is, the problem is, is that the rook is going to get behind the h pawn. Exactly. H5. And you've got to use your A pawn as a decoy, but I think White's King... I, are you I in time to do, to do that? 40 seconds. Uh, now... I don't think you're in time to do that. H6, keep going. Yeah. Push or him, baby. How, rook G2 or H6? H6. This should be winning. Rook to G2. Rook G7. H6. H7. You win everything. Rook g2 wins everything. Rook to g2. Was he taking his time? Move. He plays a7. Wait a minute. Seven. Okay, did he calculate it precisely? King to e6 or to e7? Well, can he go towards the. But can you create a decoy? Like, for instance, yeah. step up. Well, with rook the king? h6. Rook h6, I think, is the. Rook h5. But now I go a5. No, a5, you take and you have rook a7 check. Right. Seven you cannot do that. Right. But the, isn't the plan very simple? You step up with the king, you create a central I, pass pawn. I think you go rook a, he sh, I think he should have just started with rook h6, actually, and then gone king e3, king d3, keep the a pawn under control with the king, and, oh, d5, I what a move. I think this is good move. enough, guys. Just, what's wrong with taking the a6 pawn? That's Absolutely very good nothing. question. Take the a6 pawn, that wins the game on the spot. And yep. he finds it. He does it. That wins the game on the spot. And, and handshake. Wesley So takes Oof. the first rapid game in the playoffs. Wow.